Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sabina and it's Sabina's Cooking Studio and today I am going to tell you about one of my stories of my daily life. It was about a walk I took stepping out of my home, my comfort zone. I realized the difference between hell and heaven. Indeed, not a one in and the beliefs. I just use these terms to describe my perception stepping out of my comfort zone, my home. While my home is busy main road, my own home is situated about 100 meters from the gate and hence the calm and quietness dominates. Of course, this tranquility is sometimes disturbed by a passing vehicle in by the lane across the compound or the grinding of some machinery in the apartment to be completed next door. The main road is filled with noises and dust of vehicles passing by. Often the road gets jammed as there are vehicles parked and reduces the road space. Alternate parking barely works as one of the sides. Parking still reduces the weight of the road. There seems to be no solution to all this and moves on. Recently, the pavement has been repaired and the walking quality has improved. Still, I find the Electricity Corporation has put some contraption to hold the wires right across the footpath or the contractor has left behind a heap of gravel on the pavement. These things remind you that one is living in a third world country. <laughs> whatever the capacity to build rockets or satellites. I went for shopping that day. I walked into the D-Mart with my list in my pocket and quickly finished putting things on to the shopping bag and looked for my other young friend to check out. But she was not there. I don't know her name, but... On an impulse, when I was shopping a few days before Christmas, I bought her some chocolate. Since then, she smiles at me and and I smile at her. And occasionally, we ask each other, How are you? When I had done with my shopping, I walked back satisfied with my purchase. I pick a few vegetables from the roadside vendor woman. We sell their heap of vegetables for 10 rupees. And for the day, I had done with everything I had to buy and went back to my home. It was about another day when I was cooking in the kitchen and the tea light flickered and my thoughts too. Was it the starter issue or anything else larger? In the zone of life beyond 60, such questions become existential. I dragged myself in, changed the starter from another tube light, and flickering continued. In the affairs of the kitchen, darkness will not help. So I trotted to the shop and asked the shopkeeper to an electric shop. Do you have a tube light of two feet size? The shopkeeper looked at me as if I was one such tube light. Don't you want to be LED? He retorted. I thought I don't want to be led by current crop of national leaders in the dark age. And at the next stop, the shopkeeper said, I have one with full set frame and all. I choked and said, I don't need to be framed. I just need a tube light and that is all. Indeed, for such and everything you are framed for sedition, these days under the law you can be kept in jail for one long year. No questions to be asked, justice has got frozen, as it was evening and my walk was due. Decided to take a walk down the lane and look up other shops as well. One shopkeeper said it was outdated design. I was wondering when will I become outdated and be only memory. I insisted and walked down further. Soon I had walked more than one kilometers. I was wondering if I should walk into another lane as well. 
but where is not I got it on the next shop and that is where my story ends I got that tube light and I plug it in my kitchen door and I think my cooking is done too <laughs> I don't know how you felt about my stories about this cooking I think I shared one of the most random stories out of my life and it's thanks to all these cookings I do so if you like this recipe if you like my story please give a thumbs up and don't forget to share a like subscribe and comment and thank you very much for watching bye